today we're going over the standing rotator cuff drill. So uh, these drills are to help rehab like the early stages of rehab and function movement as far as rotator cuff goes. Like you definitely want to get more into uh, more, I'll say, I'll say more intricate, not dynamic, more intricate movements as far as your shoulders is concerned after you've recovered from your rotator cuff injury or whatever's going on. But you can start here as far as covering your basics and just getting things moving, kind of greasing the gear, so to speak. Of course, this gets more intricate over time, but this is where we're just going to start for today. So for your standing rotator cuff drills, just to get it in, just for a slight warm if you've dealt with rotator cuff issues in the past or are currently recovering from some, some kind of rotator cuff strain. Um, we're going to work on internal and external rotation at the shoulder joint. So first, we're going to go here. I have the band attached. I'm not sure you guys see it, but I'm going to make a noise with it. You got the band attached to the rig right here, right? And you could use a band. I actually prefer a cable as the cable system keeps a constant line of tension the entire time throughout the movement. But this band will do just nicely. So here, I'm going to keep my elbow tucked into my body right here. I'm going to keep my posture on the external rotation. I'm not strong enough to do that. I have to take a step this way. Okay. Boom. Now that I'm here, boom, external rotate to the shoulder. What I don't want to see, get to that side of an angle, as you rotate, see how my elbow's doing all the space? We don't want that. Elbow has to stay tight as you externally rotate. That's external rotation. Same rule applies for internal rotation. So I'm here, bringing it across. Boom. Boom. So once again, guys, we're doing external rotation, which is here, elbow side of the body, coming across. Notice my elbow never leaves my body. This is my good shoulder. Um, I don't have a bad shoulder, guys, but this is my shoulder that has is more mobile and more stable. Not more mobile, maybe not more stable. A little more mobile. And of course, guys, that was the external rotation. Let me show you guys internal rotation. So we're here. Boom. Boom. Do that from a slightly different angle. So we're here. Boom. And then oh, internal and then external. So yeah, here, guys. Boom. Boom. Okay yeah, guys, that is uh, once again standing rotator cuff drills. This is once again the basics, barely uh, diving beneath the surface as far as your shoulder health concerns goes, but this is a good place to start. If you have any questions about the rotator cuff drill, shoulders, or shoulder health of any kind, uh, really drop them in the comments. If you have questions on any other video on this YouTube channel, of course, drop that in the comments. And if you haven't yet, definitely, Subscribe to my YouTube channel.